I like 45 because they're slightly bigger than the 9 mil, and if you didn't notice, uh, the other gun's bigger. Anyway, you wanna, you wanna do the intro? Alright, welcome back to C-Wide Enterprises, my name's Cam, I'm here with one of my good friends. My name's Josh. So lead at this Kimber, got the beautiful handles. The design, I love it. A little bit darker wood than I'm used to, actually, compared to our other 1911. We'll show it in a little bit. Uh, we got 45, beautiful finish, matte finish on the top, gloss on the side. Let's look at the other one. So this is our other Kimber. This is a Kimber Target 2. Uh, this is chambered 9mm compared to 45 ACP. Um, so there will be some subtle changes to this firearm compared to the 45 ACP version. Uh, the first thing that a lot of people notice right off the bat is actually the sights on here. So this is just going to be your three dot uh, painted white sights. Um, I, you... I noticed the slide being a different color, but that's just well, that, that's just color. You that's know? just me. Uh, if you're colorblind, you know you don't notice stuff like that right off the bat. But uh, the sights will be different. This will have um, a serrated rear and a fiber optic front, where this is just the painted ones, like I said. Yeah. Uh, you want to look down that for me? Oh. Do you notice the oh, okay. the third dot in the middle? Um, so it appears that we have received a pistol with either some dirt in the front, little bucket in the front, or the paint just didn't adhere properly. Um, so after this video, we'll probably take a look at that, see if that's something we could fix on our own, or if we need to reach out to warranty about that. It's, it's small enough where it's still functional, but I mean, yeah. it, if you obviously have it's a CD, brand new weapon. It's going to annoy a brand new you. firearm out of the box. We're not expecting to see that. Yeah. I'm sure we can call them and They'll, get it They're out. pretty good with customer service. Another thing is uh, the slide release on the Target 2. It will be a bigger lever on here that has more leverage compared to the uh, Custom 2, which is a short little thumb rest. So this slide is a lot easier to manipulate over this one, but hopefully they'll break in the same and be smooth. But yeah. Um, which one do you prefer? Well, I shot ignoring the caliber, obviously. Oh, boy, oh boy. I would probably go with the target just because I do prefer the sights on there and the slider release, personally. I agree. I like these sights here. It's always harder for me to line up these sights for some reason when I'm shooting. I prefer those. Yeah, it's faster it's target equation for me. But, yeah, there's a few other smaller differences that we can look at, such as the handle. Uh, the design on this one actually says Kimber. This is, does not have that. If we look on the other side, it also doesn't have that. That one still has it. Uh -huh. um, the design, this is diagonal. It's a little bit more art here. Um, the grip, uh, which one do you prefer? I actually like this because it's brighter than this slightly. Like I said earlier, I I, I, I think the color combination memory. really goes well with this uh, stainless steel with a matte black and gloss finish on there. So I, I kind of like the darker version. So would you like the matte on this? Yeah. The matte black? I, I would totally rock that, actually. I, I like that. It's more simple. I like the one color. I It looks original 1911 for me, and I like that a lot. Oh. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Well... You guys out there watching this, leave a comment down below. Which one do you like more, honestly? Yeah. Um, if there are certain things over the other or not, um, just let us know about that. Um, but another thing we do really want to know is about holsters for these guys. We're kind of new to Kimber and all the products they do offer. We don't really want to get one of those bulky leather holsters, so we're looking for something like um, uh, the plastic ones. I'm not really sure what the term for that plastic is called. But... We're looking into those, and we just can't find a really good reputable company that has good ones with good reviews for the Kimber series that yeah. we're looking for. Just comment below. Let us know what you think, yeah. what you use if you have some 1911s for Kimber, or, you know, anything that you think will work for these. Let us know. Yeah. If you've enjoyed this video, like nope. and subscribe. Wrong. We have to say like and subscribe first. That's what like he said. Like and subscribe. So if, if you like, you these, like videos. these videos. Yeah, so if you like these videos. Let's, yeah, okay. take it back to the roots, yes. of course. Okay. Yeah, subscribe and like. And the like. Video, basically. Do it now. Yeah. I know you're not. We need I to know you're it. watching me telling you to do it, but you're not paying attention yeah. and doing it, so you need to do it. Okay, okay, calm it down. It's okay. I'm like a school! No, we just appreciate your, your support. Thank do you. Do it now! <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, check out our other content. It's okay. We're going to have other content on these weapons. We already have a few uh, shots with this just guy. Click it. It's okay. They get it. They get it. Just, just go subscribe. He'll shut up once you do it. And, and we're also going to get some range time with the 45 too. We're excited to show you guys these firearms. Do Thank it. Thank you for watching. Now. <laughs>